Okay, so this is the left ear revision tympanoplasty. Several preview surgeries. I, I don't remember exactly the, the numbers, but at least three or four. And uh, there's no more residual ossicle. That's the point. And so you can see that we have this. This is the facial nerve on the right. You see this torp, which was used up by the previous surgeon, which is dislocated, still connected to the tympanic membrane, but very loose and a little bit short also, of course. So we need to remove that. And then I will use the malice prosthesis to recreate a malice handle. And bef because of the number of surgery that uh, she had before, I we decided to stage the procedure. And so in that case, I will put a malice prosthesis first. And then after six months, I will do a second stage with uh, the placement of a torp. But I prefer, s in some cases, to do it to into two stages. Because, in fact, the malice replacement process will take time to stabilize underneath the lateralized tympanic membrane, because we have a lateralized tympanic membrane. And then it will be more easy for me to place the top. You see how it's just completely dislocated. There's nothing which is connected to the tympanic membrane. So it's, it doesn't work well. And th th that's definitely the point of this malice prosthesis is to recreate by recreating the malice sandal we we recreate a point of stability at the level of the tympanic membrane can this if you play and especially in this case when you do that when you don't have any more residual ossicle i think it's very difficult to have a stability and you see also this really lateralized tympanic membrane so i will leave it like this and try to put the malice prosthesis connected to this lateralized tympanic membrane. And if, of course, I will put the malice prosthesis there. So I'm going to do it now. So now we have to choose the position of the malice prosthesis. The prosthesis must be Comment? Oui. Oui, oui, là, j'ai la place. So we need to make two holes through the bony canal wall. Uh, oui, ça. <laughs> uh, y a plus grand chose là. Hein? Okay, so I'm using a 0.6 millimeter diameter uh, diamond dust burr to perform the two holes. And this is typically the indication for the malice prosthesis. I created it for this kind of situation where the uh, stability of the of any type of reconstruction is very poor. I, I know that, as I said to you, if you go to literature, the success rate depends of osteoplasty depends on the status of the osteoclet chain at the at the moment of the at the time of surgery, and if the man is is completely absent and uh, it's very low. It's something like no more than 30% success rate, even lower within 20 dB. So by recreating this, I think we increase the chance of success. Um, I have to think about the position of this malice process according to the lateralized tympanic membrane. If I place it too close to the bone here, it would be not good enough. I think I have to put it a little bit up like this. I think this would be nice. So I will make a first hole here. Yeah. And then we will decide for the second one. I'll make a first one here.
Good serum, s'il vous plaît. So you have a Y shape. So uh, this is good because this this Y shape shape gives the flexibility of this prosthesis. So even if you have a bony regrowth, uh, it doesn't fix the. I mean the mobility of the prosthesis. I said completely broken. Encore un peu de sérum aussi, s'il vous plaît. So you, you, you notice that I put some saline solution to help the, for the drilling. Needs to be completely through the bone, eh? This is pretty thick here. There we go. Now it's fine. One is done. Now I need to decide for the second one according to the distance between the two hooks. So I put it like this. So definitely here and here will be fine. Plum. Can we? Okay. Plarron, s'il vous plaît. There we go. Okay, two holes. So now we need to insert the two hooks. Sometimes you need to re remove the prosthesis and you know um, change the position of, this of one hook to reduce the distance between men. But then now it's good. Plaron. <laughs> Canet. Doesn't want to go, eh? Can we?
there we go now it's fine and you see now I can place the Mali sandal over the over the um, the foot plate okay like this so it would be fine if I place it a little bit more posterior so we need to hold the hook and now we can you know change the position like this and now we have a nice new Mali sandal what I like to do also is to lateralize <coughs> a little bit the Mali sandal because I have to take into account that we have a lateralized impaling membrane okay so you see I'm holding the hook like this and pulling the Mali sandal like this but, ca but I can adapt that during the second stage um, let me see how it goes but I think it's fine now It's important to be sure that the Mali sandal for the next step will be in contact with the tympanic membrane. It seems to be the case here, okay? So what I will do now, I will put the cartilage over this titanium Mali sandal. Okay, the cartilage. And then I will wait six months and I will go and put a torp. I don't want to make it, sometimes I do it at one stage, sometimes not. Depends on the history and the presentation and things like that. But I know that if I put the malleus processes plus the torp at the same time, the problem in this situation where we have a lateralized impaling membrane is to be sure that we are going to determine precisely the distance and, and then the, the length of the, of the torp. So I prefer to, to put it like this and wait. And then when you come back after six months, everything is stable. And then you can definitely um, determine the length. Inciso, s'il vous plaît. More accurately. Okay, can we? So we need to cover completely the, the two hooks plus the, the Maddie sandal like this. And now we, I think it's fine. Let's go. Okay. Okay, and now I'll put the drum back. The tympanometal flap. And I will wait six months. Then I will do again a transcanal approach, re-elevating the whole flap, including the cartilage. And then I will place a torp from mileage to foot plate. But of course, I will need to check the mobility of the foot plate. Because I, I, I understand that there was some kind of interposition. So it's strange. So I need to check the foot plate by removing the fibrous tissue covering the other window and covering the full plate. And then I will check the full plate. And if there is a fixed full plate, of course, I will do a stapedotomy. There we go. Okay, thanks very much for watching. See you again soon. Bye-bye.